Hello, I'm Jacob Kirkbride and welcome to WC Sports for tonight's match in the Essex Senior League between Enfield FC and Saffron Walden FC. It should be a cracker. Come and join me and let's see how the evening unfolds. So the home side currently sit 15th in the table and they come into this game off the back of a 5-1 win against Clapton under new manager Jamie Curiton. They'll look to continue that form tonight. As for the away side, they currently sit 8th in the Essex Senior League. They'll be looking to bounce back after their 1-0 defeat to Walthamstow at the weekend. One man to look out for this evening is attacking midfielder Craig Calvert, who's netted 11 goals in 12 games. It should be an interesting one for him tonight. So joining me now is Saffron Walden FC, Nigel. Nigel, how would you say the season's gone for your side at the moment? Uh, it's been pretty variable. Um, some games have been really good, some games have been pretty poor. Um, desperately need a striker and uh, you know, somebody to be able to reliably get the goals. Um, create lots of chances, but really struggling to, uh, to put them away. Yeah. Obviously, the disappointing result you had at the, the weekend, how important is it that your side bounce back in tonight's game? Oh, it's vital. I mean, every game now is a must win, even though it's you know, early in the season. Um, we've got to come out fighting for every point. Now. Yeah. So, tough away day, but who knows? Maybe they might come out on top tonight. No, I think it's going to be 1 0 at the Bloods. Come on! 2 0 Walden. 3 1 Walden, mate. 3 1. 4 4. Five, five, two. Five, two. Bunch of confidence fans. Yeah. Cheers, lads. Uh, it's going to be tight. We need to see what Lewis Francis does, um, but hopefully we'll uh, yeah make it one or two nil. And I think the score's going to be two, one, two. Um, what's it called? Enfield. Enfield. <laughs> yeah, I'll go two nil Enfield. And the score's going to be three, one Enfield. Three, George Jesse and I think two, one Enfield. Uh, George Jesse, three, one Enfield. So a lot of confident home fans headed into tonight's game, but will it be a turnaround compared to their result they had at the weekend? Who knows? Should be an interesting evening. At WD Sports, we film all types of sporting events and football matches across London. We also produce a range of sports content by using the latest video technology and editing software to ensure we provide the best filming and production services. To find out more about our packages, please visit our website at www.wdsports.com. You would also find the link to our website in the description below. Thank you. We're just moments from kickoff now for Enfield versus Saffron Walden. Let's take a look at the home side first of all. Sutar in goal with a back four made up of Mullings, Monk, Baker, Johnson with Warman, Boachi. Thomas, Cousins, Francis and Miles up top. The away side come here with Brands Grove in goal. Scott Pevers, the captain at the back, with Crane, Pullen, Wilson, Adams, Calver, Norton, Balde, Hatsi Moratis and Cockman. Of course, keep an eye on number seven for the away side, Craig Calver, who's been in great form with 11 goals in 12 games so far this season. And it's Saffron Walden to get us underway. With a big ball forward. Challenge comes in. Going to be in for an early chance here, Hasmaratis. No, he's not. Sam Sousa straight on it. It's picked up out wide by Balde. Good cross out wide. Can he find the ball in here, Cockman? Oh, no. James Baker knocks it back to the goalkeeper and the chance has died. Let's take a look at this replay here. Played across. Oh, lucky that didn't go in for an own goal. Good defending though from James Baker. That's what they like to see in these early exchanges. A bit of passing. 
Long ball forward by Joe Thomas. Nearly. Oh, and it's a goal. He's gone in. But no, it's going to be offside here, Francis. He used to play for Saffron Walden at the start of this season before making the switch over to Enfield. It's been a good form this season. Seven goals. Here is a chance for the visitors. Loop in. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Craig Calver. Testing Sutar early on. Take another look at this. From a standing position, looped it. Oh, so unlucky not to score there. Really, really clever finish. Just shows his quality. Played around, is knocked out. A few appeals for a foul there, but he's going through and Peppers is cleaned out. Definite foul there. Cannot be any arguments. Just throwing himself into the Saffron Walden captain. Cockman on the free kick. I'm not sure what he was trying there. Didn't even, didn't even seem to nearly go in the box. Wasteful. Ball thrown forward, picked up by Balde. Great turn, gets past two of them, rolls it, sets himself up, and oh, what a finish from Saido Balde. Absolutely fantastic. Goes straight over to the manager who's showing faith in him. The loney from Bowers and Pitsy. Can't wait to get another look at this goal. What a finish. No social distancing from him as he scoops away from two of them. Gets it whipped over and oh, look at that. Outside the box. Right foot. Curls around the goalkeeper. Maybe Sutar could have done a bit better. But the power on it. What a goal. 1-0 to the visitors. Here's Balde again. And they're through. And for a second. And oh, good save from Suter. And Danny Norton couldn't hit the target. Keeper came out really well for that. Look at this. With his knees, he saved it, making a much better account of himself. Challenge in the middle. Can Enfield get a chance of their own? Chased down by Francis. And the ball's just been allowed to run. It's picked up. Played out wide. Balde heads it back in field. It's a lovely ball through from Calver. Great passing as well as great goal scoring. He's Balde again. Trickery. Oh, keeper saves it with his feet. He's so good at beating his man. Balde. It's very good for this level. I'm sure Bowers and Pitsy will be keeping a strong eye on their loney. Let's take another look with our eyes. Gets past him. Puts it in and ah, oh, keeper's quite good at saving with his feet so far and he's opening exchanges. Oh, look at that for a throw. Right into the danger zone. Shot comes in. Straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. Francis tackled but he's played through here can he get a chance and I'll oh, just rolled across a tame ball but he's going to get there and didn't really look like much of a chance Boashi didn't do too much with it now just looking to recompose themselves Enfield as we approach the 20 minute mark oh that's a lovely ball through really should have done better there the defender is Miles. Oh, really overshot the cross. Lacking any real conviction in their attacks, unfortunately, Enfield. It's not something their fans would like to see. Mullings. Can't sit back to Captain Jack Cousins. He plays a great ball in to Miles and into the keeper's arms. He's under some good pressure there from Crane. It's going to be difficult to break through like that. And Saffron Walden getting through again with Balde. So strong on the ball. Goes in and keep, hits it into the keeper's feet. Oh, unlucky not to be on the score sheet there, Cockman. Another ball coming in and it's picked up by Sousa. Very, very dangerous when they get forward, Saffron Walden. You can see why they're eighths this season. Really looking to impress after the last two games. 
where they come off the defeat. Was the keeper fouled here? Did look like quite a strong challenge, but it did seem 50-50. Keeper's complaining. Looks like he's going to be all right, though, luckily. It's the last thing infield need. He has stopped a few what look like certain goals out there so far today. Suta. Seems to be okay. Cross comes in from Adams and he finds him with the head. It's Calver. Holding it well. <laughs> Managed to get past Mullings. Oh, some great play and he's read him like a book there with the defending. A few appeals from the fans for a penalty but it won't be given. Corner for the visitors. Not the best ball whipped in, but it's falling out for Peathers, the captain. Oh! Good strike on him. So close there. A lot closer than I expected when he was lining it up. Put it that way. They've got a really good setup down here. It's of course uh, Bishop Stortford's home ground. Also occupied by Enfield. Great set of fans. Fantastic pitch. Unlucky there. Home side nearly getting a goal. Let's say fantastic pitch, definitely one of the best ones I've seen around this season. Oh, that's nice. Valde slipping through. Has me Maratis. Oh, he's tried to be too clever. Just hit it low and hard. He's tried to over put it over the goalie here. Thinking that Sam Tuto is going to go to ground, which he has done a lot, but he stood his ground well, the keeper there. And the look on Hatsumi Rati's face knows he should have done better. Still remains 1 0 to the visitors. Joe Pullen holding it well. Cross in. Oh! Cleared by the Cousins. Cleared by Cousins, the captain there. Don't really want your keeper putting it into a danger zone like that, but it's not much else he could have done. Once again, that must be his fourth save with his feet. Strip. Can they get a chance here? Mullins, oh no, he's chopped down by Balde. I'd be surprised if Balde doesn't go in the book. Oh, a few little scuffles between them here. Being pulled away by Warman. Referee's having a big, strong word with Balde there here. A little bit too enthusiastic, the young man. It's Joe Thomas. Good from balls like that. And it can be in for Charles Buachi. Oh, he's put it wide. And he's almost been non-existent so far in his first half. And that was his chance to level it for the inside. But it remains 1-0. Let's take a look at this. Comes in, Boachi touches it. Oh, it's a difficult one, in all fairness to him. Very difficult to score at that near post, especially in the mid-air like that. But he will be kicking himself. It's Craig Calver. Gets another one from that dead ball. Falls out. Can have a shot here, and oh, trinkles past the post. Calvin's had some good opportunities so far. We've not seen him, in, seen him at his glistening best, which we've seen a lot this season. And there goes a half-time whistle. 1-0 to Saffron Walden. We're going to have to see a bit more from the home side in the second half if they want to make an impact in this game. With iSports analysis, coaches, players and referees can view full copies of non-league football matches to analyse their own performances and scout the opposition before the next match. For more information and subscription details, please get in contact with WD Sports.
Second half about to get underway in its Enfield to kick off. And Joe Thomas fires the ball forward. Headed on by Miles as they look to start really positively after a first half which was going all Saffron Walden's way. Calver for Walden. And oh! He's created something out of nothing and that is the magic that Calver has. What a fantastic finish. Ten minutes into the second half. Another goal celebrated with the manager who clearly means a lot to these players. That was just purely brilliant. The number seven for a reason. Take a look at this. Holds off his man. Whips the ball round. And curls it into that far corner. Much better angle on it here. Curls around. Oh, what a goal that is. 2-0 to Saffron Ward and Enfield have got a very uphill battle to fight now. I fall to Francis. Oh, struck that on the volley superbly. Look at this. Bang. Really lucky the goalie was there to save it. What a strike. Can't blame Enfield for their... Um, struggling so far in this game because it is only Jamie Curison's second game as manager you know and they're also lacking him out there on the pitch but here they are with a chance and Thomas oh another one goes over the bar frustrating but they certainly look better in this second half so far take a look at this again oh just a bit too much on it but yeah it's going to take a time for the team to gel put Curitan's ideas fully into place here they are again Walden and oh, oh that was in the substitute George Pullen oh not a bad effort it's come down well but Enfield got to be tighter on their defence got to be tighter with him if I was an Enfield fan here I want to see a little bit more from my team a bit more emphasis Ball launched forward. Francis brought it down well again. Oh, you can see his quality, Lewis Francis, but just doesn't have the end product. Don't have his shooting boots today. Be frustrating for him. Hatsi Muratis. Out wide to his teammate. Ball comes in and it's headed down and over the bar. And smashing the floor there, Cockman. He knows he could have scored out here today. He's been very, very involved. Oh, the right power, but not the right height on the header. As I say, aim it to the floor, aim it to the ground, header down. And as the second half is waged on, we're approaching the end now, last five minutes, and it's all going to Walden's way. Despite a positive start from the home side in the second half, just not happening. Oh, a little fisty cuffs there. In comes a corner, and he's put away, and it's a goal. And what a finish. Great header from Alex Warman. Just what you want from your big defender at the, a corner. And that is game. No coming back from this now. 3-0 to Saffron Walden. More muted celebrations this time round. But a fantastic, strong header from him. Take a look. Bang. Straight in there. Jumps higher than anybody else. And as soon as it's left his head, I think he knew it was going in. So did his teammates. And this will not be one to remember for Jamie Curitan's side. That's him, oh, He really wants to get on the score sheet. Shot drifted wide. I think he might have got a little deflection though. Brachi. Can he get a consolation goal here? Nice bit of footwork. Spreads it out wide. Lewis Monk. He goes Monk. Oh. Inside, outside the boot. Straight into the arms of Bransgrove, who, in all honesty, hasn't had a ton to do out there today. So when it came, he'd done well. Chopped him down. 
I think just might take a little rest. He's staying down here. And after this free kick, you'd imagine that's going to be game. 47 minutes played. Visitors take the free kick. Over the bar. And there goes the full-time whistle. Jason Myers' team will be really happy. Then change their losing form after coming off the back of two losses. They've got the all three points here today with a 3-0 win away at Enfield. Jamie Curitan will be frustrated a little bit with his side, but given the circumstances, it is understandable. Thank you for joining us on WD Sports. I hope you enjoyed. So joining me now is Saffron Warden manager Jason Mayer. Jason, you must be absolutely delighted with your team's performance tonight. Yeah, I thought we played really well tonight. Um, it's been a difficult few weeks. We, I think we've played better than the results would suggest, to be fair. I think uh, the bits of luck haven't gone our way. Obviously, we've been having a lot of injuries, but tonight I thought, I thought the boys to a man were excellent. You know, really good going forward. Um, I thought they had a sort of 15 minutes spent after half time where they were uh, they were definitely on top and they had a few chances and we've had to dig in really deep as a side and and fight hard for each other and we've done that. Um, so yeah, I'm over the moon to come and win. Obviously I know it's difficult against their midweek. They've got obviously a few boys from uh, from Stalford come in with some minutes. So yeah, I thought I thought three 0 was um, you know maybe not a completely fair reflection of the game because I thought they had a couple of spells where they were they done well, but I definitely thought we were uh, good value for the three points. I thought first half especially we were uh, we were very good um, and we sort of limit them to not much. Second half I thought it was a bit more um, but we, you know, we scored at you know, good times um, and you know, I'm over the moon to get three points. Obviously you must be absolutely yeah. delighted with the manner your players took your goals tonight and um, Starman Calvert doesn't look like, look like anyone's going to stop him at the moment. Yeah, listen, we've got a, we've got a good group, uh, talented group, some, some excellent, uh, excellent players. Um, we haven't you know, maybe done as well as all we hoped so far, but we have been a little bit uh, depleted with numbers. We have to keep rotating the squad, but yeah, Craig Calvert and uh, Rafa tonight, you know, exceptional, exceptional finishes out of the you know, highest order, you know, highest. Uh, the praise I'm giving, you know, they're, they're sort of goals that uh, you know, deserve to be uh, to win any game. Rafa's one especially, you know, we've got him on loan. Um, thanks to Rob Small, Bowers, a good friend of mine, uh, has let me, have, let me have him on loan um, and said, sort of said when we took him, he, you know, he's a special talent and he can score goals from from nothing. Can, you know, the first goal was, you know, was just majestic. It's being, fantastic job. Being two or three players and then just bend it in the corner. It's a fabulous goal. And Craig Calver, he's obviously been here for a long time now. Uh, I think, 250, maybe 300 appearances, uh, and he scored goals like that for, for a long time. And it was a yeah, magnificent finish. Once he once he cut inside, I thought he'll score here, and yeah, it was a it was a brilliant finish. To be fair, yeah, I guess tonight perfect way to bounce back after the defeat you had at the weekend. How far can Saffron really go this season? Uh, it's a difficult question, really. To be fair, obviously, the objectives before the season were to. Let's just try and finish as high as we can. Uh, we've not made that easy for ourselves because we have uh, lost a few games and drawn a few games where we should have definitely won. Um, I don't know, it's a difficult question. Um, I think a couple of years ago we went on a run where we was unbeaten in about 20 games and suddenly we went from maybe 7th or 8th to being in the title uh, run. But, you know, at the moment we just need to, be, you know, to try and find that sort of a bit of level of consistency. Uh, performances have been relatively good, I, 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 I believe, um, even if results haven't necessarily showed that. Um, so, yeah, listen, we, it's one game. That's all it is. It's one game we have to win on uh, Saturday to, you know, to try and get any sort of momentum going. But yeah, tonight, I'm pleased with the boys. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with them because it's been a hard couple of weeks where, you know. It's been difficult for them as a group. They haven't, they haven't got what they've always deserved, and tonight I thought they, you know, probably deserved the three points. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Farley. Right Thank you. So that brings tonight's action to a close with a comprehensive 3 0 win for Saffron Walden here at Enfield. They're going to struggle a little bit, Enfield, this season if they don't pick up their performances after today's game. What did you make of it, Jake? 
Um, fantastic performance from the away side, first of all. Um, every time they came forward with the ball, particularly in that first half, it looked like they were going to score. Uh, great performances um, on the flanks and um, even in the final third of the pitch as well. Um, a fantastic strike, and particularly from Calvert in the second half. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, the man's absolutely on fire right now. Um, it doesn't look like that any defence in this league is going to stop him. But um, as for Enfield, um, disappointing to take considering that was a performance in front of their home, home crowd. But um, yeah, ho um, hopefully um, they can learn and build from this because I think uh, they have got a, a unique support here. I think I think with Enfield as well, the fact that a new manager's only been there, this is his second game, um, it's going to take a while to build what Still they getting want to build ideas across the Still getting everything across to them. I think at the start of the second half, after a really disappointing first, at the start of the second half, they came out only 1-0 down. They looked like they could have got back into it at some point, but mm. as I say, the, the, the killer blow from that second goal, which there's not really much you could do about from a finish like that. Um, really good work from Calvert there. So, mm. unlucky for them, very unlucky, but yeah. you, you've, you've got to do better. <laughs> yeah, they have to use their second half display though as a, a backdrop to build on. The exactly, very, very, very much so. Mm. So that's all from us here at WD Sports. Don't forget to like and subscribe.